A sister, why can't a female be in leadership position? I just mentioned, <clears throat> excuse me, I just mentioned Donna Farrakhan, and she had a, a video, or someone posted a video. A clip where she was talking about how the racist Caucasian pink people have made things unnatural and they have put the woman in the role of the man. And we suffer because the black man should be the head of household and the black woman I should, should be his slave, I guess. <laughs> I don't, I really don't know how that's supposed to go down. Why can't a black woman be a leader? She can't be no worse than black men. Somebody told me that black women lead the black community. Okay. Hmm. Things that make you say, hmm. They say that black women have been in leadership position of the black community for the last 40 years. If that is true, who are these women? Who are these organizations? Just because a woman is the head of household, she's a single woman with children, don't make her lead. Don't make her a leader in the black community at all. She's the head of her own personal household. When you talk about leaders, the first people that pop up in your mind is Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, Louis Farrakhan, and some local people. And they always usually are men. So where are you getting this from? And if the black woman has been leading the black community for the last 40 years, 4-0, then who has been leading the black community since we have been here going on 500 years? Who, have, who has been leading the black community for the last 460 years? Tell me, tell me, please. You only make your own, black men only make, make themselves look worse. When they are trying to blame women for their failures. And that's exactly what you have here. And they love to hear another, a black woman speak like Donna Farrakhan because it makes them feel better when a woman speaks against her own gender. And she speaks against her own gender because she has been brainwashed. She was raised up in a religion that was created by men, not some God, created by men that put men in this, this uh, leadership role, this position. And she believes that. 
she says that it's natural for uh, the man or the male to be leader of the household, leader, leader of the community, leader of the society, leader of the nation. It's, that's natural. Well, first of all, we don't know if that's natural because to say that something is natural, you must see it in its, its original habitat prior to being manipulated by some outside force. And we will never know what that was. None of, none of us was there to know what the role of male was or the role of female was. We'll never know because we were not there. However, if we look at the natural world, other animal life on this planet, you will see, especially in mountains, and we who are called human beings, we are mammals. A mammal is any life form that feeds its young milk. The female human, whether you like it or not, she, the breasts are mammary glands. She feeds the baby milk. So that makes us a mammal. And when you look at mammals, in most mammals, you will see, especially those mammals that are in uh, family groups, you will see most times that it is the females that are the leaders of that family group. You see it in hyenas, you see it, you see it in lions, you see it in elephants, that's where you see it. And most of these black men talk about, I'm a lion, I'm a lion. Well, it is the lioness that is the leader of the family group. She is the one who goes out and does the hunting and you wait at home, you don't babysit or nothing really, and you wait for her to bring back <laughs> the food. Male lions that uh, don't participate in this usually don't have a harem or female lions, so they have to do things themselves. But most times, if the male lion can find females that he can get to come up under his leadership, I guess you would say, or whatever, but he's not leading anything. It is the female lions that determine where the family group goes and they do the hunting and so forth. But Donna Farrakhan's thinking process is not based in what is seen in the natural world or nature in other animals, but it is it is determined it is determined and by religious teaching that was created by men who took who has taken woman out of the picture period unless of course she is the mother of Jesus hmm. at least in Christianity you get that much you don't even get that in in, uh, in Islam so Influenced by religion and society, men, there is a criteria or a role established for men. And this was created by men. Women did not create this. Men created this criteria. And black men they can't live up to it because of the social situation that we find ourselves in. So many black men are angry and they blame black women for their failures because they uh, can't get a job 
and they get so they're jealous that black women have the jobs. Well, if you if you're so great and you got it going on, why why do you have to beg for a job? The black woman got a job because the Caucasian man gave her a job. You angry because the same Caucasian man won't give you the job so that you can feel like a man because you have to live up to this criteria that religion and the society that was created by other men you, you, you can't live up to that because you have been told a lie that you're supposed to be the breadwinner and you're supposed to be this and that and that you don't have to live up to that standard unless you want to so sister Donna says since the woman has the job she's become macho <laughs> And she said that that the, that a black woman with a job, her 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 uh, her voice gets deeper. In essence, she's become a, a a man. She's become a man because there's no man in her household. She or 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 because she is the breadwinner. <laughs> Wow, y'all something else. A woman becomes a man. She's becoming a man. She becomes more macho because now, because she can work. Wow. Well, it's not the fact that she can work. She's the breadwinner and she makes more money than, than the man. So she, she in essence, the, the whole thing don't make any sense. It's not logical. It, it, so, in essence, what y'all saying, since, th since these black men don't have a job, then he that's why he's becoming gay. <laughs> you know, if that's the case, that's really pathetic. Let them all become gay. I mean, who cares? If you get pathetic because you don't have a job, you're going to, you, you're going to, I mean, the whole thing, it's, it's insane. The whole thinking process is insane. It's truly pathetic. <laughs> I have to laugh. Y'all are some silly people. You know, this whole thing should be in a comedy club. But y'all, they be talking serious as a heart attack. And these pathetic, these pitiful black men. <laughs> Woo, man. Uh, I've never heard such a thing. I've, ne I've never heard... I've never heard such a thing in the 70s. Women were getting jobs. They were running their household. I, I never heard nothing like that in the 80s or the 90s. But once you start getting into 2000, all these pathetic black men start coming out. I don't have a job. It's black women fault. I want to be here. Why they always want thugs? <laughs> it's your fault because you don't have no... It, it's It's... You don't have what they call swag. It, this okay. Now let me let me give you an example. Now how can it's really pathetic? How can people in jail get married and have babies, but you have these guys with college degrees 